Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the code execution cannot proceed because edge di.dll was not found. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for today's tutorial, we're going to open up Google Chrome. And into Google search, just want to search up edge di.dll download. Here's I typed that a little too quick, so let me just type it again. So edge g di dot dll download. Go ahead and search for that. When the best result should come back over dllme.com. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the blue download edge gdi.dll file right here. Go ahead and select that button. Don't click on any advertisements. Just go ahead and just click directly on this. And then I'm not a robot. You might have to fill out a captcha here. So go ahead and select that. And might take a moment here. So now you're going to go down and select this edge.dll file. Looks like it's about 650 kilobytes. You can go ahead and just click on it one time. Don't click on any advertisements on the page here, oh, by the way. So we're just going to click on close. And just be careful, guys. Just don't click on any you know weird um, pop-ups or advertisements. And the download should begin here. And then once it's done, we're going to go ahead and show in the folder. Double click on this folder and then there should be a DLL file in here. Go ahead and just drag it over to the desktop. And now in File Explorer, we're just going to click on this PC on the left side. If you closed out of this, this is fine. You can just open up File Explorer through the Start menu or click on the Task Manager again. And now we're going to go ahead over to our local disk where Windows is installed. So go ahead and double click on that. And you want to do the same thing now for the Windows folder. And you want to locate System32. If you do not see System32, you might have to click on the View tab and enable hidden items, but we don't have to do that in our case, so we're just going to go ahead and double click on System32. And then we're just going to go ahead and just drag and drop our Edge file into this folder. And we're just going to go ahead and just drag and drop it in here. You'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Select Continue. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. So once that's done, you can just close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.